It's a haul and a plan with me. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today I've got a small haul shopping addictions and a plan with me. I haven't done a plan with me in weeks because I've just been trying to get all of my content out. I feel like I think I'm two weeks, but we don't know. Let's just get through it, okay? Alrighty then. I'm going to start with Walmart. Let me just, let me just tell you my issues, okay? So, as you know, I am decorating in squirrels and acorns in my dining room. If you don't know, if you're new, hi, my name is Leslie, and I decorate my dining room in squirrels and acorns. And my kitchen in scarecrows. And my bar area in leaves. And my living room in pumpkins and crows. Yeah. And to it. So I think I saw some some video on YouTube, I'm sure, that alerted me to this item that I must have. Okay. Don't you know, it's cute, whatever. No, I have to have it. I have at least six to eight Walmarts around me. I will travel to the earth's end to find what I need, okay? So, I did a quick Walmart search, and it was not a bit, it was sold out at every flip. And I'm like, how have I missed the latest greatest, right? I'm always up on it. I've been too busy. I'm working six days a week, filming the seventh day, trying to exercise, you know, whatever. <sighs> so. I did a search of all, like within a 25 mile radius of all the Walmarts. It's at one Walmart. I slept on it that night and thought, they're probably lying to me like they usually do. They just try to get you in the Walmart and you go get there and it's not there. Do I really want to drive all that way? So then I thought about it the next day and I said, you know, I think I will because there's a Hobby Lobby there, there's a Dollar Tree there, there's a Five Below there. We're going to have a grand time and I am, may the Lord be with me and help me, going to find this item. Okay? I found it. <laughs> they had like 11 of them on the shelf. And you know me, my OCD is like, if I like it, I want to. And I thought about it, and I said, I'm not going to do it. They have 11 here. If I find that I have to have a second one, I'll come back. Well, that's a very dangerous game to play, because once that town gets made aware of that being a viral item, they're going to go. They're gone. So... Let's just show you what I got from Walmart. Now, this year, usually in early fall, I will do the the greens and the oranges, oranges and the yellows and like the leaves turning type of colors all throughout my house. And I was like, you know what? I want to I want to tone it down this year and keep it really cozy and neutral. I seem to be getting into this neutral phase. Um, I did a neutral gingerbread tree a couple of years ago, which now is in my office. And now I'm thinking, I, I, I want another neutral tree in my house. I didn't like all the co We're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Anyway, I'm going towards this neutral thing. Not sure why. Um, and so I decided I want more of the muted colors, like the muted greens and creams and tans and browns. Um, I have, I have, 
I have a haul that's coming up like two weeks because I don't know when else I'm going to be able to put it up because it's September. I'm trying to get in more exercise videos. So some of the items you're going to see me decorate with before that video comes out, it's a convoluted mess. Okay, too much on my plate. Don't have my life together. Real sorry about it. Okay, let's just get to this because I'm talking too much and we're like five minutes in. I'm real sorry. I just, it's my head. I got so much going on. I want to tell it to you all. I want to tell you everything. All right, so this is the viral item for $9.99. It is a wooden tray shaped like a leaf. If you saw my Gabe's haul, you saw that I just recently hauled two fabulous pillows with these shapes. And I couldn't be more excited. This is the item that is not available in any of my stores except for one. I drove and I got it. Okay. So while I was there, I thought, well, you know, let me check it out and see what other kind of items they might have that I need. Well, I thought, you know what? I definitely need a new flag for out front. So for $5, I got Hello Pumpkin. And he's cute. So I'm going to replace my flag this year. Then I found these, which are fabulous. I got uh, four stems of them, and these can just sit underneath pumpkins or anything like that. Um, so I got four of these, and you know, I stopped myself at four. They're like 98 cents each, because um, I said if I need more, I'll, I'll go back and get more, but I'm trying not. These are the colors that I usually use, but they're the brighter. I'm trying to get more into the maroons, the muted greens, the muted orangey color, brown colors, tan colors, cream colors. So that's what I'm going for this year. I got this. I think it was like five dollars maybe might have been more another leaf says hello fall do i have room for all this stuff we don't know don't know then i saw these so perfect so perfect this brown pumpkin with these leaves Okay, perfect. So I picked up this is this is the sugar plum I had dancing in my head. I had visions in my head of the color palette that I wanted, and I was like, I don't know how on world on earth I'm ever gonna find it. This right here, perfect color that I wanted, like a muted, burnt orange brown, deep rich, cozy velvety fabulous I did pick up one of the plastic ones for 98 cent I'm not a big fan of the plastic ones but I felt like he had enough of that burnt or muted brownish tan to him that he might work I like the speckles he can go up on a shelf and not be in your face I got two three four of these. I started off with two and then I said, well, you know, we're going to need four. We might need more, but we know where they are. Okay. So I got four of those. That trip to Walmart. Let's see. Um, the decoration was the, the tray was ten ninety eight. The leaf picks were ninety eight cent. Foam pumpkins were each ninety eight cent. The hello fall leaf was four thirty four, and oh, the um, flag was five. 
So my total was $30.89. Okay? But I just could not be more thrilled. Could not be more thrilled with this color palette. It's going to be so cozy, so fabulous with my candles burning. Oh, my fireplace going. Oh, it might last early and late fall, but we'll see. Because late fall, I usually do all of my leaves from Hobby Lobby that are just tan. Like, you know how they turn tan at the end and kind of die and fall off? Yeah, that's what they look like. All right. So, really excited about this. You know, and I had to tell myself, don't expect it to be large. I mean, I'm four foot ten. I don't have a large hand, so. But he'll be cute with something in it, or just by himself. I don't know. All right. All I had was the color palette, and then when I go to decorate, I just let it happen, because when I try to think of how I want to do it and then try to do it. It doesn't turn out good, so I have to let it happen. Whatever feels right is what happens. There's a lot of moving things from here to there, a lot of changing. Takes a little while. All right, then I went to, over to Hobby Lobby, and I said, well, I don't really need anything, but this item was originally... $15.99, 40% off, got it for $9.59, saw it out of the corner of my eye, scooped it up, I didn't know what the price was, just scooped it up, hello, originally $15.99, I paid $9.49 for it, so now I have two leaf trays that I can put somewhere in my house because I have to have two of everything if I love it okay so I like that I have two different ones right I don't have to have two of the same we're just gonna act like all that's normal okay <laughs> then I went up to Walmart and at Walmart I lost my phone because oh no that sorry this is part of the Walmart I went back to Walmart let me explain this story. The first time I was in Walmart, I got so excited that I was checking prices on my phone. Then I lifted up the, the blue sit-on thing and put my phone down and put the blue thing over it. And I got so excited because I was finding the pumpkins and the leaves and everything. So I'm grabbing and putting it in. And then I went and checked out and I left. Got to Hobby Lobby and said, oh... I forgot my phone. <laughs> so I went back. My cart was not there. It was somewhere in the store. So I stalked all the people looking. Looking for my phone. Couldn't find it. Asked a couple managers. Nope, nobody's turned in a phone. So I said, you know what? This is my opportunity to go across the street. Go to Hobby Lobby. Go to Five Below. Go to the Dollar Tree. Get what I might need need and then give it an hour and come back so when I came back I found some more needs and my phone somebody turned it in all right so while I was at five below I got one thing and I'm not going to show it you'll see it in the next video um I spent 6688 at my second trip <laughs> Um, because I spent $17 on these probiotics. I have not taken them in a, a, about one paycheck because I didn't get them the last time I got paid. I said I was going to go without it. It's just a probiotic with prebiotic and... It helps with occasional gas discomfort, constipation, diarrhea, supports digestive balance and immunity. And yes, I eat um, the 
Activia yogurt and, you know, do all of that. I just want to see if this would help my stomach go down a little bit more because I'm not kidding y'all. I can very barely see the top of my stomach getting some muscle like squares like that six pack thing and I was like maybe I'm seeing things and I checked it then I can see it but we can't see any of the muscle we built down here because we have fat and it sticks out and I'm like maybe I've got gut, gut issues I don't know we're just desperate so I'm going to go back on this and see if that helps. I also got my Move Free because my hands hurt so bad. I forgot to put that on my list and get it. And I don't know how long I've been without it, but my they're all swollen. Look at these little, my little jacked up pinkies. They're all swollen. You can't see it. Usually you can see the wrinkle. You can't see it because it's so swollen. I know, and they look weird. My pinkies don't don't do right. We don't know. I'm special. So I got some Move Free for $17.97, and then I decided to get some more collagen with peptides, um, and I just got the Equate Vet uh, type this, this time because um, you get more for less, okay? This was... Um, $28.88 and for one this large at uh, for the um, vital proteins I think it's like $40 and I wanted to get a creatine but this is also good for joint health and I think that if I've been off my move free for a longer time but I still had some of this and just recently ran out of it Maybe this is what kept me from hurting as well. Don't know, but I'm getting it all back into my system because we can't we can't do the pain. Okay, we have to type every day. We we don't do that. So this has collagen and peptides, um, and you know, that's what I got. I'm still thinking about getting the creatine. Don't know if it's something that I need. Um, creatine is helpful in breaking down the protein and help feeding it to your muscle. There's a lady that I watch on YouTube. I'll have to pull her name and put it on the screen somewhere. Um, but she has. She's a nutritionist. She has her masters masters in health nutrition, nutritional health, whatever. And so, I'm trying to slowly learn and incorporate and figure out for my life. Anyway, so my Hobby Lobby trip was 1017 6688 at my second trip at Walmart. Alright, so I'm going to skip the monthly because I have things coming up and I just don't have the time right now to do that and this. So I just want to plan for the week of Monday the 1st of S September to the 7th. This is my planner for work. And I have this planner which has larger stickers in it. So I want to take these monthly stickers and see what they will look like. a little bit wide but they fit down there um So that works. All right, I want to create a scene. You know what? I think I'm going to do the coffee one because in my icons book, I have the coffee page.
these are just the cutest just the cutest all right I have that page that page that page that page how do you choose page all right um let's see what we have in here i'm going to get some wax paper Wax paper is just a great way to pull stickers while you're trying to figure out which ones you want to use. It doesn't matter which side you stick them on. It also helps to take off some of that extra sticky so that it doesn't get stuck on your page and not come up. I don't want to use all of these in one, but they're so cute. Mm. So cute. I'm just mesmerized. <clears throat> Trying. Okay. Um. Oh, I have my other fall book too. It has the houses and things. All right, let me pull that one. Uh, was it this one? Yeah. All right. So, shall we use some of the fabulous trees? It's got tea. Got a little cut on. Oh, look, the squirrel. Cotton. more spring looking so I think I'm just gonna do that <laughs> because you know that's how it goes Let's see what we have in here if we need anything I don't think this color scheme is what I'm really going for necessarily want to grab my fall book so hold on and this fall book is one of them that I want to go through because I bought one two three 
for five copies of it. And I don't need five copies of it, so I'm going to be sending some of these to Katie. I'll keep a couple. I'll give her a couple. Maybe I'll put one together and we'll do a, a drawing. You know, help get me to 700. We'll do a drawing for some Happy Planner stickers if you want them. All right. Uh, let's see. What does this say? Enjoy ordinary everyday moments. I think what I'm going to do... What I've grabbed this book for is this other one that I want, you know, five. I have like five copies of one. I think it's all the same book. I don't know. Four, five, okay. It's a problem. Um, but I thought about, you know, maybe putting some animals in. I don't know. So we'll grab a tiny deer and a tiny fox. And a tiny elk. Because we might put them somewhere in the background. We're not going to do clothing in this one. <clears throat> not going to do those in this one. Might use these boxes. I just didn't know if I wanted to use some of these, but now that I look at the colors, I feel like it doesn't really go. All right. I also have these boxes. I don't know what I have in here. All right, let's just start planning. First, I feel like we kind of need to have a coffee scene with a coffee brewer, maybe some beans on the counter next to it. Creamer, sugar packets, something cute like that. All right, and then I could even. Take this swirl and have it coming up out of there, but it doesn't really go with that spread, so it's okay. We'll put one of these here and some stir sticks. Okay. Then, all right, so then I think I'm going to make my scene.
maybe down the middle should I make it on the bottom should I make it all over This is why I don't like to plan it out. I like for it to just happen organically. It takes a little bit longer, but it's worth it in the end. And I am not going to black out. Am I going to black white out? Mm. I don't know that I cannot do it. I just want to white out these lines. So they aren't showing up in the middle of a tree. Sometimes my whiteout pen does not like to work. Everything's okay. Just get it as good as you can. It's a little scratchier. Uh, this one. This is the one I want. Much better. Need to get those other ones out of my drawer. The 1.0 size jelly roll is the one that works the best. Lightly going over it because sometimes if you do it too hard, it pulls up that under layer. If you've gone over it a second time. So this is the pen that I use. It's a Jelly Roll 1.0. It works perfect. You can find them at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. Give that a second to dry. Um, Just trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm having issues. There's so much I could do. And I don't know if I want my leaves to be blowing over here. Or if I want them to be coming off the page like over here. That's what we're going to do. That's where we're going with that. And now I don't have any white line or dark lines going through my sticker. So I was going to put her sitting under it, but she's so much larger. <laughs> that doesn't really work. So maybe we'll just put her over here. We could put her up here. So I thought about having the deer near her or having the deer walk up to the tree. So many things we can do. So let's just start with what we know. Maybe it'll come to us. So I want to put that there. I feel like that's too much. Maybe we could put it right here and just have a little scene right there. I think that's what we will do. 
people are moving in next door and the dog is having a fit and barking every time a noise happens and it's really annoying <laughs> all right so let's black out that white out whatever whatever i'm doing So this week in the videos coming up, we have a sneak peek at how I had started my fall decor. Then we're going to get into showing you how I decorate with all of my new things. And um, we're going to have, um, I'm going to at least do one video of me on the rebounder for five to ten minutes and a couple of check-ins throughout the week um at least once a week i want to step out of my comfort zone and do something and i'm trying to figure out what that could be uh last week was walking where the dog was attacked by a cat if you're new here i during the month of August, it, that was the last month of my 75 hard, and a cat had, on August 1st, um, clawed, <laughs> clawed my dog in the neck, and I just thought I was going to lose him. I mean, she doesn't have any legs, though. So, I was a little freaked out to go near that area for a little while. And I challenged myself to step out of my anxious zone and just do it. And I did it. I made it. No problems. And so, maybe I'll try it again this week maybe i'll increase weights or do more reps or something i'm just not sure so we'll see we will see Okay. Got some white out on me. <laughs> anyway, so we'll say that's good there. Then over here, we need to have our ladies enjoying their coffee. So, let's white out the bottom layer over here. So, if you are joining Katie and I, I will pop a picture of her channel up here. And if you're joining us for September, stepping out of your comfort zone and moving every day, let me know. Let Katie know. We love to hear that people are excited to start their health journey and get back in shape or continue their health journey anything tips tricks that you've learned along the way definitely share them we'd love to hear from you all um but yeah definitely go over and subscribe to my friend simply katie walks she is retired so she has a little bit more time than i do because i work full time still 
and trying to do this YouTube and uh, it's a lot. Exercising, fitting in. There's not enough days in the week, not enough hours in the day for me to do everything I want to do. Therefore, I have 101 running lists all over this house of what I want to do. We don't know if we'll get them accomplished even this year, okay? My running lists are supposed to be done within that weekend or within that day. We, mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard, but we do what we can. We're going to cut her off down there because her legs are cut off. We're going to put Miss Cozy right over here. Not exactly sure what I want to do here. Maybe just put a little pile of leaves here and a little thing of leaves up here. They will be covered by boxes and that's fine. Not the whole thing, just a little bit. Then cover that up with the leaf. have left to do are my boxes. So, let me see here. These are for a large, but you can always cut them down. Or you can turn them and use them this way and just put a header on it. I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, hold on because we don't even know what we're doing here. We're gonna put one here going to put one here, but not that color. Put him here. Nope. He goes here. I know. I'll explain in a minute what in the world I'm doing. I don't like my boxes to be right beside each other. And I'm going to put one here, and one here, and one here, and probably one here. We don't know. Um, and I just don't like for them all to be, like I wouldn't want a box here and a box here. That's what I'm getting at. And I'm going to take this one, just ever so slightly overlap that one. It's a little crooked. Everything is fine. And then I'm going to take these and put them over the top. And it's okay that it crosses over the line. Not a problem. Okay. 
not a problem at all. I'm not going to do it on that one. Maybe I'll do it here. Hmm. Here. That's what we'll do. There. And then... We'll do one here. And we'll do one here. And that's it. That's it for the boxes. So I'm going to call it a day. That's going to be this week's spread. I don't like that there. So we're going to have to move that because they're just floating there with nothing happening. Oh, wait, I'm not done because I've got to do my checklists. Um, put that there. All right, let's do the checklist. And then this long video is going to be done. All right. All right, now, so I like to have a checklist and a box, plenty of room to write all of my work requests down, or what I've done for the day down, just to keep track of what's going on, make sure I've done everything. I'm a checklist person. I love my checklists. Need them for everything. We can add one more. Okay. So, because I have a checklist there, I'm going to put one up here. Just a few lines. It's not a big deal. So we'll do one here, one here. Okay. And then I'm going to put a few lines here. Okay, just give it some interest. Okay. Oh. Got lines there. A few lines here. And that's it. Um, I think I will add my dots. Let's see what color I want. these dot markers from Hobby Lobby and I love them they're very fun so I think we'll use the yellow might be too yellowy paper Good color. All right. And then I just take it and say one. OK. 
Tuhan And I am not going to add extra stickers um, in these areas because I, I may need them to write in. I see I didn't put a box there, but it's fine. Everything is fine. This is kind of like when I decorate my home, I can't pre-plan, like I can plan my color scheme, can't plan what I'm going to do, or it takes me forever because I'm trying to get it to look like in my head, and it just doesn't always happen. So, I just pick my colors, pick my stickers, put them on the page, willy-nilly, whatever we want to do, and then that's it. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I'm trying to get to 700 subscribers by the end of September. And you can make that happen by hitting subscribe today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.